Have you noticed there's a new trend in the way some people talk? It's more prevalent among teenagers. It isn't valley girl talk. That's like totally awesome. Not that. It's they talk like this. Every sentence ends in an up as if it were a question. It doesn't bother me that much unless they do it a lot and it gets really annoying. To take an hour of your time and focus on the positive things in yourself. That's supermodel that's Cindy Crawford. She's going to do it again. Oh, I didn't have the opportunities then. The um, popular also, term for it is up-talking. But you don't have to be a fashion model or a teenager okay, to up-talk. I came to Ikea because... Um, you can hear it on commercials. Great. I mean, it's kind of self-serve. Or even coming out of the mouth of a doctor on the president's health care task force. Because I see the problem from a different point of view. She came up to the table and said, my name is Belinda. Dr. Cynthia McLemore is a linguist in Philadelphia who's worked extensively on uptalk. The linguistic term is rising intonation. For her doctoral thesis, she studied sorority sisters at the University of Texas. In the sorority, some of the officers would make announcements and say, pledges, I need your forms. It's not a request for a direct response, but for attention, which is a kind of response. People may think that uptalk conveys uncertainty, but Dr. McLemore says it can be used in a number of specific ways. You can, you can use a rise to convey uncertainty. You can use a rise to hold the floor. You can use a rise to convey, do you understand what I'm saying, or do you hear me, or do you agree with me, or do you approve of me? All of those things. You can use rises to perform those functions. In any case, it's spreading. Intonation in particular is um, contagious. I mean, it spreads really rapidly. If you're talking to me and I start rising like this, you might start rising like this too. We wanted to see how widespread and contagious it is, so we packed up and drove to Villanova University to find up talkers. We said we were doing a piece on campus life. I am a member of my sorority, Alpha Chi Omega. <laughs> um, I'm on student government because a lot um, of the juniors and seniors don't live on campus. I'm a nursing major, but right now I'm taking um, a lot of electives. These guys were raising money for charity. All right, well, we are we're Beta Theta Pi, fraternity, national fraternity, uh -huh. and uh, we're having this ducky race. We're, uh, we even ran into a couple of up-talking sisters, both recent college graduates. Sylvie was the better up-talker of the two. Well, I was also on a team. I was on the track team for two years. Although Denise had her moments. I learned how to live under a lot of stress. When we told people what we were really up to, they all had their pet theory about who up talks and why. You get excited and it just happens. Like when they're excited, I think. Yeah. I guess they were trying to get something out of somebody. I noticed people from Delaware. All around Pennsylvania, all that put their accent to the house. They're really looking for approval, I think. So if you know people who are doing it, I think you should make them stop. Otherwise, we'll be a nation of only questions and no answers. What a horrible thought. We'll be right back.